<clears throat> this is Jack again on psychics. Okay, let's start. Um, you had the psychic, okay? Now, psychics were system placements in this world to make sure human beings remain within their pre-programmed lives, as I explained in a previous interview. That all human beings' lives, the moment they are born, are already pre-programmed, are already placed, preordained, everything. They just walk that which has already been placed for them. Um, and psychics were those as systems that made sure that human beings remain in that and do not deviate at all. Another placement. There was many. Making sure human beings just don't find out who they are. And so, there is a system inside psychics. It looks as follows. It's got a round circular placement inside the mind. Okay? Connected to the spine area, which is... Um, vertical, <laughs> which is vertical along the spine, and then it had like these, these, these. If you if you place a spider on its back, its 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 legs, um, in, in terms of how its legs is formed, um, like on like reaching out, exactly like that. But now put it up. That's how it's like a spider's, um, yeah, exactly like a spider looks like. So, in other words, a human being comes along and ask, or doesn't even ask for specific information. They either ask for specific information or don't. It doesn't matter. So what happens is that when a psychic sits in front of the human being, you're sitting in front of the camera right now, okay? Well, well, you're, well, you're basically looking at me right now. So in terms of you sitting in front of me, what would happen is I'm the psychic, you're the human being asking for a, a specific reading or a specific question or to contact a specific person, etc. The name doesn't even have to be mentioned. So what happens is the psychic then, now the, this is when the soul construct also still existed. So remember your soul construct within you and within the psychic contains all your information. Past lives, this lives, all, the, all that is still to come in your life is all in your soul construct. It's, it's in existence in its entirety. So all the information is in you within your soul construct. So all the psychic has to do is connect with your soul. And that's it. Because in your soul is all that is of you that is here, that was, and that is to come. So basically, the psychic will then, with these claws, connect whoop, into you. Okay, we'll connect here, mind, and along your body. And then the soul placement from here, from your solar plexus, that from the psychic solar plexus will connect to your solar plexus where the soul um, where the soul construct is placed within. Their information is then sucked out of you as the being coming coming to see me as a psychic and sucking out all your information into me as a psychic into that round circular placement of the mind, that vertical placement along the spine and also the claws, everything <sighs> sucks out all the information into the psychic for a moment. And that's how psychics did readings. <laughs> Even through, because everything of you, as I've said, exists within you. Your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, who you are, what you've experienced, um, your desires, fucking everything is in you. All, and it's information, it's system information. So it's a psychic as a system plugging into the system, downloading the information and speaking the information. Sometimes it's exactly what it is you want to hear. And even going to see psychics was already programmed and placed in to make sure that human beings who might, possibly might, just deviate and find something that will open the key to them. Psychics come into play. So psychics were systems. And that's exactly how they retrieved information. Even, let's say you ask them something, but it's, now, you, it's in your mind, like a thought. doesn't matter. Because of the, that, that claw placement in here, it locks immediately into your mind. All your information is downloaded in the psychic and they can speak your thoughts. That's as simple as that, how that's how it happened. Um, so psychics did not have any contact with uh, dimensional beings. Uh, nor really did the channels because the channels merely spoke as mind consciousness system channel placements inside their mind. To suppress their own mind. And another mind speaks. It's all mind. Minds. Mind systems. Um, 
So then, you know, specific information will be given by the psychic and you'll go, Oh my God, that is specific. Yes, I believe you. That is what I must do. I see. And then you fall in the trap of systems and you do exactly what the fucking psychic told you to do and you're exactly where you're supposed to be in terms of the entrapment of yourself in the pre-programmed consciousness system reality. And it was as simple as that. So... Uh, that's all I have to say about psychics at the moment, so I'll continue in my next interview. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Andrea, and I've just watched Jack's interview about psychics. Now I'd like to share my perspective on this. So, how does one actually, in this reality, test this information for yourself? So here we have Jack giving us the information about the history of mankind and a lot of it we listen to you might look at it and go okay that's interesting but how do I actually verify this information for myself how do I observe reality and start understanding these things for myself without it having to come from a dimensional being or from another person how, in the case of psychics for example in relation to what Jack was referring to, where it was all pre-programmed information that the psychic was accessing within you, within the person sitting in front of the psychic, and the psychic was feeding back to you the information in relation to the life that you're supposed to be living this lifetime according to your pre-programmed design. Now, if you're not familiar with what's pre-programmed design, that's basically according to the soul construct, which is what he referred to. The soul construct was those who created us and designed us to exist here on planet Earth as mind consciousness systems, and to exist as mind consciousness systems that generate energy through thinking, we have to exist within pre-programmed lives. So, in the afterlife, each person was placed within a life that you'll come and live. And then the dimensional being will be placed inside a baby, you'll be born, and you will live out your pre-programmed life. And how you will be directed in every moment to follow your pre-programmed life would be your mind consciousness system which is already pre-designed or pre-programmed to direct you through thinking, feeling, reactions, fears, emotions, physical programming, physical behaviors. So each person is living their life believing that they are doing it so from a perspective of free choice. They're, they're rationally deciding, yes, I'm now going to do this, I'm going to do that. But in fact, everything is already pre-designed according to who you are supposed to become within the bigger picture of consciousness as it is designed currently. Um, so getting back to the point of psychics now as I just mentioned how does one actually go and look at testing this information that Jack spoke about for yourself because let's say you had to start finding out for yourself how reality functions and you don't have Jack or another person if you look at what psychics speak about they are always telling us information in relation to hope, in relation to love, in relation to accepting the current world system as it is. The psychics never reveal really how the human mind functions. They never reveal that the human is actually a pre-programmed system, such as what Jack was referring to. The psychics never reveal how, for example, all mind consciousness systems within all humans have been designed and that within the soul construct, for example, uh, which is also explained further in the History of Man series, how the grid lines functioned and how everything was a system design. The psychics never tell us about any of that, about anything that is happening in the background that is directing all of humanity to act and behave the way we are. They never reveal, therefore, that by us accepting the current world systems as they are, in which all of us are tacitly agreeing to war, famine, poverty, rape, abuse, everything that happens in the capitalist system, 
we just accept that as humans. And why is it that we just accept it? We look at these things happening and inside of you, you might react and you might have a little tear in your eye, but ultimately we accept it. We do not ever as humanity and have never stood up within the point and gone, this is unacceptable. I do not accept this as the human existence of what we are accepting and allowing within ourselves and within the world. It is unacceptable. Like this lifting of the veil or this clarity or something shattering inside every human going, what is this? What have we created? Now, the reason why every single human is tacitly and directly accepting the world the way it is is because we have designed ourselves to accept the way the world is. And in the History of Mankind series, he explains all of these facets of the human design very effectively. And in relation to psychics, the psychic will therefore, in relation to all of this, the human design, the psychic will never reveal. They don't see the systems because they are designed to just keep us accepting the system the way it is. Therefore, they are that part of each human that will continue accepting things the way they are. So you go to a psychic and let's say for example you want some support on what job to find or how to find love or you just want some message of hope from the psychic that will just motivate you more in your life. And you sit there and you're listening to this person and they're telling you some really cool things that just support you and carry on being you. That's the whole point of the psychic, is to support you and carry on to, to carry on being you. And that's the whole purpose of the psychic. So the fact that psychics who are supposed to see beyond some form of a veil, they don't see nothing. They are the ones who don't even go, wait a minute, what are we creating as our reality? Whoa, this is there's something wrong here. We are tacitly and by direct implication we are accepting and allowing poverty, abuse, rape, corruption, fraud, elitism, uh, separation in the name of greed and separation in the name of culture and religion. And especially from the perspective of spiritualists consider themselves to be spiritual by nature, by their design they perceive themselves to be some being that is created or given a gift by some creator or a god that is by some spiritual sense supposed to enlighten humans but they they themselves are not even enlightened they themselves don't even see reality for what it is and here they are giving you information that you want to hear now nine times out of ten what I've noticed about psychics maybe some of them even see reality as it is but due to the existing money system nobody wants to rock the boat of the system even if a psychic was to say okay look whoa there's this lady has depression because she can't feed her children properly uh, therefore there's something freaking wrong with the capitalist system the, and all of my clients that are walking through my door that have some kind of sorrow or anger or irritation or massive fear is so because of the survival, because of the life situations that they're placing themselves in just to survive. The capitalist system and the world systems are screwed up. But the psychics themselves have become so intertwined into surviving that they themselves can't even speak. So even if one of them was to see something, they would not speak up because they have to earn money. And therefore, as humanity, we we are keeping the vicious cycle of the lying psychic going because we just want to survive ourselves within the current world systems. Therefore, the psychics have to keep feeding us hope and love and messages of, of what could be and your, your potential within the system. And nobody is able to break from that vicious cycle because everybody is just accepting it the way it is. And that's my perspective that I wanted to share in relation to the interview. Thank you.